Okay, so I see a bunch of people ask about, they have an image that's a raster. This is a PNG, but it does not have a, a transparent background. I put this rectangle behind it to show that. Um, could be PNG or a JPEG, whatever. But okay, you know, someone wants a sticker of this butterfly. How do you, you know, without tracing that by hand, how would you do that? So I would do trace bitmap and pick uh, maybe clip art. We'll see what it does here. Okay, it gives us that, which is cool, but we really want the original image. So we have this group. So in the shaping tools, there's a boundary, um, which will create a boundary around all of the stuff that's there. Um, and keep in mind, whenever it did this trace, it didn't get the white background so we should be good um, anyway shaping tool we can uh, we really don't need to leave the original object because we don't really want that um, we don't need a place behind it because we're not leaving it so we just hit apply okay well what happened there go back to object manager there's this curve if you click the shape tool there's our curve okay cool um, you could do one of two things. You could pick your original image, right click and power clip it inside that curve, and then there you have your your image. Now you can see this still has this butterfly, like it's still all there with the background, and it. it's just power clipped inside the the curve that we created from our trace. Um, I'm going to undo that. We did. We undid the power clipping. Let's say you wanted the white border around it. Um, you can use contour. Do a outside contour with rounded corners. We'll just do this. Apply it. Okay. So that gives us a nice little even border around it. Smooth it out some. Come back here. Break the contour apart. This one is the original boundary we created. So now we have this. Then you could just right click on your image, power clip it inside there. There you have your little butterfly logo. Um, for me, like we print on 52 wide. Um, we'll get rid of this background. So let's say, you know, we want this to be, oh, what'd I do? 52. Let's say these need to be a six inch wide sticker. So we'll move this down here. I don't know why that's still showing up. Let's move this down here and like I'd create a cut layer. Copy my power clip, paste it in the cut layer, use the no frame so that you have just an outline and greens what I use for my cut and there we have it if you want to create multiples I use the transformation tool and we know that's six inch wide so X is horizontal Y is vertical we're gonna leave some room in between them so we'll say 6.25 we want 10 of them apply it bang there it is they don't all fit so We'll delete that. Maybe do something like this. They are 4.35 tall, so we'll delete the horizontal translate and we'll say zero there. And we'll make this 4.6. And we want only one copy. Apply. Bang, there it is. Ready to go to print. Using using the transformation tool, the nice thing is it keeps the the layers how they were. So the artwork's still on layer one and the cuts remain on the cut layer whenever you do translate. Um, there you go.